Howdy, I'm Chappers. And I'm the Captain. And today we've got some very exciting stuff to show you at Anderton's. We have. What we thought we'd do today, we had so much fun the other day uh, playing with the looper on the uh, little pod HD500 that we uh, shot. I thought I'd actually go and get some proper looper pedals, dedicated, <laughs> uh, that's all they do, looping pedals. The two newest ones uh, are the two new Digitech Jammans. So we've got a Jamman Solo and a Jamman Stereo. We're about to have lots of fun creating a jazz fusion tune. Yeah, we're just going to go loop crazy. Now, if you've never had a loop before, a looper pedal, um, who do we know artiste-wise who is very famous for sort of doing looping? Well, not famous in, in the traditional sense, but there's a fantastic artist called Dub FX. If you haven't seen Dub FX, go check him out. The guy's a wicked, and he does all sorts of stuff live using a, a couple of loopers and a preamp on the floor, and uh, does very well. Cool. And I know probably the, the, the lady that... Um, made looping kind of famous in the first place was Katie Tunstall and she has uh, she? yeah yeah you, uh, do you remember that album she brought out that had lots and lots of sort of banging percussive kind of acoustic guitar stuff these quite big acoustic ah. guitar parts all that exactly ah. that was all if you went to see her live that was she had a all, horse and a cherry tree yeah it was all done live using two or three of the early loop pedals where you couldn't sort of store them or anything so if you wanted three loops you had to have three pedals and everything it's good uh, if you and, can't afford a band you can probably afford yeah. a pedal, you know? Um, what we've actually got is a clean sound straight into a guitar amplifier, but we've got a drive pedal as well. So what we can do is record like a, a clean loop and then play a, a driven sort of lead sound over it. And I, because, sorry to interrupt That's you, right. incredibly rudely of me, because we're using an MO1, I thought to show off the myriad tones available from an MO1 here at Anderton's, uh, I'm going to start off with a really subtle coil tap sound and then bring in some gain eventually using this awesome full tone plimsoll pedal which is one of our favourite distortion pedals right now. Yeah, it's new from full tone but we're going to review that later so uh, we'll stick to the Jam Man for now. So, yeah. um, Jam Man is just set up in its basic loop mode now so essentially it's got three modes that the chap is going to do. He can record a loop, he can then uh, set that loop to uh, standard play mode which means anything he plays over the top of it won't be looping or recording or he can set it to overdub mode, where essentially he will build up more and more loops. So you'll see kind of all that, you'll work it out. stuff of the first one we're going to show you which is the Jam Man Solo uh, and I'm just going to literally refer to my notes here look how professional I am I don't use paper anymore just have Cut. okay so Jam Man Solo you have got a total internal memory of 35 minutes worth of loops now if that's not enough if you put a big enough SD card into the Jam Man Solo you can save up to 16 hours Years. worth of looping yeah yeah that'll be in the future your entire <laughs> life you can loop um, <laughs> Now, any one loop that you record can only be a maximum of 10 minutes long, but that's still that's a, long a lot. That's yeah, like that's three lot. songs worth of a loop, yeah. so I doubt many people will be doing that. Yeah, any Next, more than that is just gratuitous, isn't it, really? Uh, there are nearly 200 memory locations for you to create and store loops in. Uh, there is a, uh, the, the pedal, the solo, is just a single button pedal, so quite a lot of the, the features rely on sort of, you know, either bending down and, and pressing buttons on, on the Jam Man or multi-tapping buttons. But there is an optional extra called the FS3X, which adds another three buttons and, and gives you a bit more functionality at your feet. You can check that out on our website. Uh, other cool Ping. stuff. Once you've recorded a loop, uh, you can speed it up or slow it down without changing the pitch. But like Paul Gilbert does in that famous video where he's arpeggiating on a two-string guitar. Three string guitar? Three string guitar. It's a cool. really, really cool video. Check it out. You can also uh, change the tempo of a loop that you've already recorded. And another thing which is kind of cool uh, is uh, it's actually got 
like a, a sort of a metronome slash kind of primitive drum machine type thing in here. So if you do want to just jam along to something uh, in the background, like a, you know, just a, uh, like a boom chap, boom chap type sound, there are nine of those uh, built in. guitar in it has an auxiliary input so you could put your iPod in and, and make some loops off of backing tracks or it hasn't got a dedicated microphone input but if you used this pedal through the effects loop of a mixer or something like that you could uh, make up a yeah, vocal just get a stuff. simple mic pre like a Presonus firebox and then plug your mic in and then away you go so it's super cool this is Tons and tons of fun for people who are practicing uh, or trying to do something interesting in a band. Or guys working in a music store like yeah, us. Uh, or us. <laughs> I've had using the, the loopers has just been the fact that I just want to put a real simple kind of 12 bar uh, sort of chord progression in and then just try and work on some new licks. I mean, you guys know I've been playing the same lick for the last 20 years basically, so uh, Chap has taught me a new one yesterday and it's a great way of kind of practicing. Uh, oh, yeah, I did. I was yeah. Just like, did I? So, yeah. <laughs> Jamman solo. None of them are exactly state-of-the-art uh, drummer from hell type drum samples, but you know, they're just kind of better than a metronome, I suppose. Okay, so the way it works is I just enter the setup mode. Uh, in fact, let's put these up on my lap so you can still see me. So I'm in the, I enter the setup mode, just press two buttons at once. Uh, and basically we've got uh, a little R5 on the symbol here. It says we're set to rhythm number five. So if I now start tapping a tempo in, you'll hear some uh, rhythm noises. Okay, I've got a separate volume control for rhythm here, and uh, these are the nine rhythms that you'll hear. Ready? So that's the metronome one. That's the drummer that can't afford a drum kit, but has, <laughs> but, but has got some sticks. This is the drummer that couldn't even afford the sticks. He's just banging his head against the wall. <laughs> This guy's got a bass drum and a hi hat. It's like the White Stripes drummer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, almost a drum kit. He's bought a cheap 80 snare Could drum I get now. Yeah. Yeah. 
you, you tap there how fast you want. So I just pressed the store button to remember what that tempo was. Um, and then basically what, what is, I really do quite like about this is when I now start the um, next loop, you'll actually get a counting. So what you'll see is that the green, oh, you'll get a four counting. Yeah. So it'll go, it'll go uh, on here, you guys, it'll go red, green, 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 bang, and then you're in. So you'll hit, you'll get like a four note count and then the looper starts. That's your jam man solo fantastic little pedal 169 pounds uh, so hours and hours and hours of fun with that it's got a little USB socket on the side here, I've just noticed which means you can connect it to your computer I think that uh, is so that you can again organize all your loops in a, in a special library on your computer yeah. I, if I didn't say it before even when you change the tempo it doesn't change the pitch that's good yeah so oh, it corrects the pitch <coughs> yeah it keeps the pitch the same and just literally adjusts the speed well, so good. jam man solo Available now from your favourite music shop, which Anderton's. is... Anderton's. I'm sorry? Anderton's. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm sure it's Anderton's. <laughs>